Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to export your projects from this website, Floor Planner. So basically you're going to start out in your little dashboard and profile area. Then you want to go click on this icon where it says projects. And then you can see all your stuff. I'm going to be using a project that I did earlier this year in my engineering class. So here I have Blueprint 1 and then it goes over here. Then you just hit open. And then once it has loaded, you have to make sure you can see everything you've been working on. The whole house is right here on your screen. And so there's two ways to export. I'm going to be showing you how to do 2D first. So in the corner, you want to make sure it says 2D. You want to make sure you can see your house like this and it's 2D form. And then you're going to want to hit export 2D image in the upper right corner. And then there's settings here, but I don't think you have to change anything. You can just leave them how they are and it'll make it look good. So just leave it like that. It also sends you a copy to your email, which I'm not sure if you would need that for any reason, but if you do, it's in your email. So you just hit export. And then it'll tell you export is in progress. But the only thing about the free version of this website is that you have to wait 10 minutes every time you want to export. But that's fine, just gotta be patient. And then it does take a few minutes for it to go into your exports, but you're gonna wanna go back to your home. And then go to this icon for the exports. And then, like I said, it's not here yet. This is my old one from before, but since the new one is not here yet, I'm going to use this one to show you how to download it. But if you're worried about it not showing up, just wait a few minutes and then refresh the page and it should show up. But once it's there, you're going to click on it and then go down here, hit download. It should go to the bottom of your page. And then once it is all ready, you just click on it. And then it should be right here. And then if you go to your downloads in your computer, it should be right there, like ready for you to upload it to Schoology or wherever you need to put it. But yeah, that's how you do a 2D export. Okay, so next we're going to be doing a 3D export. So go to your projects, select the one that you're planning on exporting. Once it has loaded, you're going to go in the upper right corner and hit 3D. Then it should put you into one of the rooms in your house. So you have to make sure you're in the room that you're planning on exporting. So I'm going to use this bedroom. And then next, I'm going to position myself so that I'm facing exactly how I want the picture to look. Then you hit export 3D image in the top right corner. Then you hit SD Fast Preview. Once you've done that, you should have this boundary here of where the picture will take. So you're going to make sure you position it so it's perfect where you want it. And so you get everything in the picture that you're looking for. So you can back up, you can move side to side, you can even zoom in. And then once it looks the way you want it to, you're going to hit the little camera button right here. And then you can add a camera. And then it should have taken that, so. All right, once the render has been sent, you can leave. Go to your exports. And like I said in the last video, it takes a moment for them to get exported. So if it takes a few minutes, just refresh it and wait for it to show up. But I'm going to use this one I took before. And then once you see it, you just hit download. It should appear in the corner. And then once it's all loaded, just click on it and it should be right in your downloads.